Okay, let's get down to business. So this is a great song and it's really easy to play. There's just four chords in it. Ah, maybe a fifth one, but it's straightforward. It reminds me of those old Motown tunes. It's a very common chord progression, which is a one, three, four, six, five. Uh, very, very much used in the Motown era and uh, really easy to play on guitar. However, having said that, the uh, original guitarist, whoever played this, uh, and it's obviously played once, maybe twice, and sampled and looped. Uh, but whoever played it initially has got an, a wonderful feel. It's almost a masterclass in feel. Just playing the chords and playing those stabs is very easy. But playing this with a lot of feel and a lot of subtlety takes a lot of, lot of discipline and a lot of practice. So we're going to focus on that today. Okay, so this song is actually really quite simple in terms of construction. The chord sequence is really quite simple. And it's kind of a four chord trick. It's in A flat major. It's got an A flat start. Then it's got a C minor, which is the third chord of the same key. The fourth chord, which is a D flat major. And then we've got an F minor and an E flat major. So here's the kind of groove that you want to be thinking about. Notice that I've got my right hand here muting, palm muting. And there's this little element that I can hear. So we're playing this A flat major and we're just picking out the octave from the fourth finger here. And then the third finger here. So it's those three bottom strings. So I let these ring out. That F is not so much a stab, it's rung out, as well as this E flat major. I let that ring, and that's what it sounds like it's doing on the record. So let's put it together. what I'm doing I'm playing it really this bass line and that rhythm I'm playing quite gently here it's quite subtle let this F ring out and this E flat ring out and all together Turn around, I'm playing a just ever so lightly. That's part one. Okay, so part two is quite simple.
Okay, so that was just power chord on D flat major. Four, four, A flat power chord. And again, D flat. Then up to E flat, but six on them. So what I was doing there, just as that kind of nice little elegant turn of phrase, rather than after the first chord of the A flat major, I'm, I'm playing the riff slightly differently here. I'm going up the neck so I can hit in C7. I'm hitting an e, a C7 up here. Eight, seven. So and then I'm getting the D flat here. And then it plays a D flat minor. A beautiful classic change of key used quite frequently by the Beatles. <laughs> And then it's back to the and the fade out. There is one little section where it holds off on the first beat on the last chorus. So it was just pausing, put a little bit of space in there, a bit of dramatic pause, which really accents the last chorus really well. So the whole thing with this song is it's played with so much feel, you know, like it's just oozing. I love it for that. And whoever played this track originally is, uh, it, it's like a masterclass in feel, you know. It would be so easy just to smash these chords out. And you can do that when you're learning, smash it out. But you really need to get in the pocket of that 12-8 feel. Around. 